your boy Damian Cryer and I'm back with another video. So today, man, uh, you guys know I'm finally getting over this cold. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I got a huge garbage truck coming down the street just messing my video. I call that hate. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted by the garbage truck, man. So I know a lot of people have been asking, Damien, uh, what, what, what happened to the updated home tour of you doing more stuff to the house? So today was a scheduled day, like I told you guys, I think two weeks ago, that I was getting new windows put inside the whole entire house. So today, when I woke up, they were at the door. And look at this, I'm gonna show you guys just these results before we even show y'all the crib. Look at this, man. They tore every window out my crib. Every single window. So we're getting the brand new windows. See, these are the brand new windows right here. These are the brand new ones right here. The old ones uh, are, are completely gone. So my man right here, he hooking me up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So see, I can see straight through my crib, man. But it ain't going to be all day, though. A couple more hours. This is like the remnants of all the old stuff that came out. That's the old uh, window pane, I guess they call it. Those are more windows right there that's getting installed. stuff. What's up, buddy? You hooking me up with brand new windows? Yeah. Energy savers? Huh? A lot of work. Yeah, I love it. Oh, God. Another one. My bedroom tore the window out. This is the outside looking in. They tore my stuff up. Look at this. Don't hate on my air mattress over there. Anyway, um, this was just like part of why I had to slow the process down of everything that I'm trying to do on the inside because I knew that these guys were gonna be coming over here and eventually tearing all these windows out of my house and putting the windows in. Uh, Try not to get my address. Here's another window that's tore out completely. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it gets done. But I'm gonna take y'all around the back real quick and show y'all like how they did the back. They got the back, uh, most of the back windows is already done in the back. So, oh no, one of my new windows has a crack in it. Oh shit, look at that. They go out to fix that. Yeah, these windows was not cheap either. These are actually those um, energy saver windows. These things like four or five thousand dollars, but it's supposed to uh, you're supposed to notice immediate results on your electrical bill. Which my first electrical bill wasn't too generous to me either, so I'm not too happy about that. But anyway, take you guys in this way. And see, they got all these done right here. These are all the brand new ones. I don't know if you guys remember what that looked like before. But they got, so this is like the whole kitchen area right here. They got these strips right here. So let's see. They got one, two, three. Four. So they got five sets done now. Check out the inside of my crib. I mean, it is jacked up. Looks good, man. It's really nice. Yeah. Good, man. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, this is the inside of the crib. Looks crazy too.
So this is the reason why I have not started purchasing any more stuff yet. But after, this is the week right here I've been waiting on for the windows to get installed before I actually went and got my bedroom suit and my dinette set for my front room. I said, it's a work in progress. I didn't want to go buy everything yet. And then these guys have to come in and move all this stuff around all over again and make a huge mess and get all of my brand new furniture. As you can see right now, this stuff right here I bought like what, two weeks ago. And this stuff is like all pushed out of the way now. So had I bought the new dinette set and stuff, I would have had to remove everything all over again. So when these is done, I would turn the camera back on and show you guys the finishing results of the windows. So I'll see you guys. Right, so the kitchen is done. They got the windows up in the kitchen now. So this is what they look like. They did a really good job. Most importantly, you guys know I do a lot of cooking videos. And one thing I'm always talking about my cooking videos is clean as you go. What the hell? Look. Big old mosquito thing. One thing I'm always talking about in my cooking videos is clean as you go. And so, it looks really good. The guys did some cleaning. Chipped a little paint away, but I don't really care. This whole kitchen's gonna get redone. Yep, they did an excellent job. All the way around, I couldn't be happier. Now they're just about done with the front room. And then they'll be starting on all three of my bedrooms, which won't take longer. It won't take as long on the bedrooms because they have smaller windows. That's nothing compared to these windows right here. So I'm gonna turn this off and go in here and see the progress of the front room. And I'll see you guys in a minute. I didn't realize I had this kind of tree in my yard. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know what those are. Oranges or plums or something. I don't know. I know I'm not going to eat none of them, though. So I'm going to walk y'all around real quick so y'all can see the finishing touches. He's got that window done. He's putting a caulk on it right now. But then we got this one right here on the side. As you guys see, they have a crack in that window, but these windows are actually lifetime warranty. That's what I paid for. So anything happens, they're all lifetime warranty, so I don't have to pay for it. But they have to specially make that glass for that window pane right there. So moving on around, we have another new window right here. They did a they did an awesome job. I'm not gonna lie, man. At first I was extremely frustrated. And I'm thinking I was frustrated because I was woke up out of my sleep forgetting that I had this appointment scheduled. And I was thinking it was gonna take like a whole entire day. It took them nearly five hours or less than five hours to install all these windows in my house. So that looks really nice from the outside and it looks a lot better from the inside. The only problem that I have now is that apparently I can't put my curtains and blinds up for 24 hours because the caulk has to dry. But, um, I'm cool with that. I just don't want to have the windows wide open, the, the, uh, the curtains wide open because then I'm completely exposed. Y'all know mugs be riding down the street and all that, trying to look all up through your windows and stuff. I have to have that thing in my hand like this while they riding past looking at my crib. I am just kidding. Sort of. Nah, I ain't kidding about that. So anyway, um, I am extremely happy, man. I couldn't be any happier. Look, they got the weather strip. They is running material, baby. They running material. Again, this crack, man, it's bad, but I was able to tell because I look at everything. You can't really see that crack now because I'm kind of really close or maybe it's because of the angle of the camera, but you can't really see the crack too bad. So, did good, man. Yep. Got it hooked up, brother. Thank you. Okay, so he's finally done. I can show you guys a better view of that window now. He was kind of in the way, so I didn't want to get in his way. So, I'll sit right there. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the inside. Ouch. 
I just got hit in the head with a tree. So, master bedroom. Pretty soon, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my stuff in the master bedroom. I do have a brand new uh, bedroom set coming. Again, I didn't wanna purchase, not purchase, I didn't wanna have anything put in my room just yet um, until they got everything installed. The old windows tore out, the new windows put in. There's that crack right there. Really, oh, there we go, yeah. You can actually still see it on camera. See it going down. Again, this was something that they did while they were loading the windows up. And this is why I did not want to put my new bedroom suit in the bedroom just yet, because look, you guys see the floor, all the stuff on the floor. And that's what I was afraid of that was gonna happen. Like my new furniture in the front room actually got stuff all over it, but it just can just brush right off. I can just take my hand and then kind of just, ooh, my camera's blurred up. I can take the stuff that's on the furniture and just sweep it right off. And then right over here, see, another reason. My shoes are piled up everywhere. Piled up all over the place. But, so anyway, I'm going to end this video off, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the new home tour update. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share the video, man. Leave me some video uh, ideas of what you guys want me to do in the next video. Also, I'm going to be doing another um, home tour uh, later on this week. That's where my bed, my dressers, and everything comes in and all that stuff gets installed, man. So thank you for watching this video, man. Don't forget it's the D, the A, the M, the I, the O, N. I'm actually getting back better, man. I still got this little sickness in me from Florida. Um, I ended up going to the hospital yesterday, just so you guys know. You might've seen something on my community tab where I was in the hospital. I was showing my wristband. I had a bad episode yesterday, um, but I found out what it was. It really wasn't a big deal. I guess I just panicked. panicked. So I'm good, so all my subscribers, I'm fine. So you guys don't be worried, I'm good to go. It's gonna be business as usual. We're gonna be bringing you guys a lot of bangers, so stay on your... Well, I'm gonna end this off. Uh, until next time, it's your boy Damian Cryer. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace.